welcome to Pharma Tech Ops in San Diego. Standing next to me is uh, Jerry Martin from Zoetis. Uh, thank you for coming to the conference and agreeing to this interview. Thank you. Maybe you could tell a bit more about yourself and your role at Zoetis. Sure. I've uh, been in engineering for about 25 years. I'm an electrical engineer and I've uh, been with Zoetis for about two years and been involved in a, a significant uh, turnaround progress or project in regards to uh, helping the engineering team build reliability into the process of developing bio device biotechnology. And today you um, had an opening case study presentation uh, at the conference. Maybe you can tell a bit more about the topic? Sure. What I tried to impart to the people that were in, uh, in my session was that it's very important to pick the right people in regards to trying to make a cultural shift to improve the reliability of your product or process. In addition to that, I emphasize that we want to make sure that we use best practices such as uh, characterization of the product and uh, using data to make data-driven decisions to execute that change. Um, why did you decide to um, focus on the reliability side of maintenance? I think it's important because uh, oftentimes people need a reliable process so that we have uh, a good work-life balance. When things are unpredictable and unreliable, it tends to cause stress and uh, reduce morale. And we all know that employees like to be recognized and uh, kept healthy and well by our companies, and I think reliability helps implement that strategy. But there is often also a bit of resistance against reliability um, from different sides, but how do you convince engineers to, mm -hmm. for these kind of initiatives? I think it's important for them to understand the business case of the impact to the customer and uh, the quality of life or quality of product that the customer then uh, has in regards to uh, our specific reliability. So it's not so difficult uh, um, a challenge when you start to help them understand the impacts to the customer. Looking into the future, what do you think are the biggest trends um, that, that are now moving or changing uh, this whole field? I think people have an expectation of ease of access for information, uh, connectivity, things like that, but also the expectation that things should be more reliable in this modern age. I think that they're demanding higher output, higher quality. And um, there's very different approaches and standards in different countries, and Zoet is operating on a global field. Um, you, as uh, also director, um, uh, how do you make decisions based on these different countries and these ba different standards? Uh, is there one general reliability program um, for every country, or do you have local programs? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great question. There are many international standards, but we often try to choose harmonized standards, uh, IECs, things that are global in, in regards to how we can design. But I think it's important to understand that when you're looking at a global economy, you can't have different strategies for each. Otherwise, your business will be stra strapped with a lot of cost for each specific and unique case. So we try to design above all of those things. And uh, in doing so, uh, we, we try to take a rigorous understanding of what will the real world usage profile be in all of those locations so that we can develop the product to meet those. So we are here uh, at the conference which um, kind of puts a lot of focus on um, interaction and discussion. I know it's only the first day but uh, what do you think of this uh, multi-touch point format of the conference. I really enjoy it. Uh, the diversity of thought and the different uh, business cases that come together. There's a lot of uh, common ground and uh, a lot of strategy that uh, each employs that when you're able to come to an environment like this, you can actually, uh, in a very non-threatening format, uh, dissolve any uh, strategic boundaries that become something where you can find common ground and talk about new strategies and ideas. So I hope you will uh, be inspired uh, the next uh, few days or next day tomorrow and uh, enjoy your conference. Thank you so much. It's great to Thank be here. You.